Castle with 31 triple dollar. I think we should all just duck under the desk here and let folks enjoy this view. Yeah. Beautiful. We could just run out the door right now. We could do that too. Yeah. We could. We have a great view from, <laughs> you know, right out the back door here at our studio on top yes. of Montesano. Uh, yeah, a great day today, but it is going to change heading into the weekend. Mm. So yeah, I know we, we have a trend of that. The good news is we're not talking about a lot of weekend rainfall, but okay. the spring-like temperatures, they're going away at least for a few days. Let's talk about it. Uh, we'll start you off here with our Way 31 threat tracker and a really not expected any major issues out there. I think we'll keep it uh, in the good range tomorrow. We will pick up some cloud cover though coming in for you Friday. So say goodbye to the sunny weather we've had the last several days. And just a caution on Saturday, not necessarily due to a high impact rain or anything like that coming on in, but it's going to be windy and it is going to be sharply colder compared to what we've gotten used to over the last couple of days. Uh, Sunday looks good. It'll be cold in the morning, but sunshine and quiet weather into your Sunday afternoon. What we are tracking next is this little area low pressure over eastern Colorado that is going to be dragging a cold front in across uh, North Alabama and southern middle Tennessee heading into tomorrow evening and the end result is we will be tracking again some scattered wet weather out there for tomorrow evening and behind that front we are going to pick up a chunk of some colder air that will be arriving as well heading into the weekend. All right let's track it all out for you here a future radar already picking up on some of those thin cirrus clouds coming on in. They will increase overnight tonight. They'll thicken as we head through the day tomorrow. So expect limited sunshine for you Friday. Waking up though to overcast skies, but also dry weather out the door tomorrow morning. So no concerns that we'll have rain early in the day. Noontime looking pretty cloudy, but again, also looking dry. We hit the late afternoon hours and there's still Really no rain to be found. Here we are at 5 o'clock. All of North Alabama, much of southern middle Tennessee looking dry. But as we take you into tomorrow evening, going to start to see some of this rain coming on in. It will hit you first in the shoals during the early evening hours by 9 o'clock in the evening, stretching from a Winchester there in southern middle Tennessee back towards Huntsville, Decatur, Moulton to Haleyville. Maybe a brief downpour out of some of this, not expecting severe weather and not expecting that the rain is really going to add up across the area. You folks over here towards Gunnersville, uh, Fort Payne over towards Towards Scottsboro, you'll see some of that rain push through during the mid to late evening hours. And then by midnight tomorrow night, it's likely already winding down. So this will be a fairly short window of rain coming on through. Now, yes, you do see uh, some of the color coding here indicating some frozen precip southern middle Tennessee. As the moisture is departing and the colder air is starting to come on in, we may see a brief changeover to perhaps a couple snow showers. Nothing that's going to last long enough to cause any sort of issues out there. Uh, but just want to alert you to that, that if you see a couple flakes flying as the rain is coming to an end late tomorrow evening, don't be surprised. We head into your Saturday and we are drying out. We'll begin to break up the cloud cover, but again, expect a colder day coming in for the start of the weekend. Only 45 on your Saturday. Sun will be back on Sunday, but still a bit cool at 52 degrees. Your lows tonight, though, due to the cloudiness coming on in, acts as a blanket, holds in a little heat, trying to escape to the atmosphere. We will see milder numbers running mostly in the low and the mid 40s. From there tomorrow, Cloud cover, but a south wind does help warm us up. 65 around 1 o'clock. Uh, we'll be back mid, maybe some upper 60s tomorrow afternoon. Shoals, 68 for you around Muscle Shoals, Florence. 67 in Decatur, Huntsville around 65. Here's how things look on your Way 31 Storm Tracker 10-day forecast. Again, a cold day Saturday, especially with the wind. 45 for the high. 24 Saturday night. That'll be a cold one waking up on Sunday morning, but we will rebound Sunday afternoon thanks to the sunshine. And if you are not liking that drop in the temperature, we quickly return to the 60s, maybe even flirting with 70 degrees again middle of next week wow. with perhaps a little more wet weather coming in. Uh, by next Thursday. All right. Looking yeah. forward to that. So kind of just kind of up and down on the temperatures. Yeah. That's typical though here as we head through the latter half of February. Absolutely. Take your uh, Dramamine and hold on. <laughs> there you go. Right. Thanks, Jeff. Uh -huh. Looking at